A teacher's inappropriate obsession with a beautiful young girl leads to him marrying her mother so that he can be close to the girl. Today, we will talk about a 1997 romantic drama film called Lolita. Movie spoilers ahead. Relax and enjoy. In 1947, Humbert, a middle aged European professor of English literature, travels to the United States to take a teaching position in New Hampshire. He rents a room in the home of widow Charlotte Hayes, largely because he is sexually attracted to her 14-year-old daughter, named Dolores, who he sees while touring the house, as she reminds him of his childhood girlfriend. Humbert was madly in love when he was 14 years old, his girlfriend died due to typhus. He kept on looking for her even long after he had grown up. Humbert is immediately smitten with Dolores and couldn't stop watching her. Lolita is an undisciplined brat who does whatever she wants. She behaves provocatively with Humbert and never misses a chance to behave naughtily with him. On the day Charlotte sends Dolores to an all-girls Catholic boarding school, Dolores ran to Humbert and kissed him on his lips. Charlotte left a note for Humbert that she loves him and if he feels the same way as she does, he would stay but if not, he can go before she came back by dinner time. Humbert stayed and they got married two weeks later. Charlotte found a drawer lock and asked him what is inside to which he replied it's love letters. He avoided having sex with Charlotte for six weeks and when he cannot avoid it, he went to a doctor for sleeping pills. When he returns home, he found out that Charlotte finds Humbert's secret diary and discovers his preference for her daughter as she forcefully opened the drawer. Furious, Charlotte runs out of the house, when she is struck by a car and killed. Her death frees him to pursue a romantic and sexual relationship with Lo, whom he nicknames Lolita. Humbert went to the boarding school and took Lo. They then travel the country, staying in various motels before eventually settling in the college town of Beardsley, where Humbert takes a teaching job and Lo begins attending Beardsley Prep School. Humbert and Lo must conceal the nature of their relationship from everyone strangers they encounter when traveling as well as the administration of Beardsley. They present themselves to the world as a father and daughter. Over time, Lowe's increasing boredom with Humbert, combined with her growing dis- Humbert's affection for Lowe is also rivaled by another man, Claire Quilty, who has been pursuing Lowe since the beginning of the pair's travels. One day, Lowe was admitted to a hospital as she had fever. She eventually escapes with Quilty from the hospital. Humbert was heartbroken and searched for her everywhere but is unsuccessful, as he doesn't know Quilty's name. Three years later, Humbert receives a letter from Lo asking for money. Humbert visits Lo, who is now married and pregnant. Her husband, Richard, knows nothing about her past. Humbert asks her to run away with him, but she refuses. He relents and gives her a substantial amount of money. Lo also reveals to Humbert how Quilty actually tracked young girls and took them to Paver Manor, his home in Parkington, to exploit them for child pornography. Quilty abandoned her after she refused to be in one of his films. After his visit with Lo, Humbert tracks down Quilty and murders him. He was chased by the police and is arrested and sent to prison. He dies in prison in November of 1950 due to coronary thrombosis, and the movie ends with Lo who dies the next month on Christmas Day from childbirth complications. Thank you for watching and listening. See you again soon. Until then, take care.